Woodward's advice to Arnold he could have done with prior to Man United exit. A new era beckons for Manchester United as Ed Woodward's time at the club heads into its final weeks. The 50-year-old has been deeply involved with all things United ever since his collaboration with the Glazer family and advising on their leverage buyout of the club in 2005. Woodward was persuaded to join United's ranks shortly after and held various roles before being thrust into the limelight as the club's executive vice chairman almost nine years ago. Over that time United's fortunes on the field have floundered amid several failed managerial tenures, transfer flops and a yearning to bring the club back to its former glories. Despite thriving commercially off it, tensions reached ahead when the Glazers tried to push through the breakaway European Super League, which Woodward had been pivotal in bringing to the fore despite not agreeing with it. What should be on Arnold's immediate to-do list at United? Have your say in the comments section. The fallout of that saga and the backlash from fans ultimately convinced Woodward it was time to move on, though he would do so with a heavy heart. He had become so obsessed with attempting to deliver United success that it became almost like an addiction and reportedly has no plans to accept another role in the short term as he tries to mentally check out of the intense routine he has become accustomed to. While Woodward will find it difficult to move on, there will be some clear upsides. His house was the target for disgruntled supporters on more than one occasion, angry with the way their club was being run, with Woodward bearing the brunt of the criticism. Finding a replacement for Sir Alex Ferguson and reinvigorating United's tired structure and processes was an unenviable task, once which has seen several coaches axed along the way. United have shaken up their structure behind the scenes over the past year or so, bringing in John Murto as football director and entrusting him and technical director Darren Fletcher with the football-related tasks which Woodward, a trained accountant and former investment banker, often handled. Woodward's remit sorting commercial contracts and the financial side of the club's business will be handed over to Richard Arnold, a close friend who has worked alongside him for a decade. And according to the Times, Woodward has already given one piece of advice to Arnold following the announcement he would be stepping down back in April to focus on the long term and ignore the noise. That sole nugget of wisdom would have perhaps been useful for Woodward himself when stepping into the role all those years ago. He himself is said to regret sacking David Moyes less than a year into his reign and believes Man United failed to provide the sort of structure which would allow him to flourish like he is currently doing at West Ham. Louis van Gaal was never likely to be at the helm for a lengthy spell, nor Jose Mourinho, and while United backed Ole Gunnar Solskjaer heavily, there were heavy doubts from the outset that he was the wrong man for the job. United have also made a habit of throwing cash at short-term solutions on their playing staff, with a number of expensive flops on their track record. Angel Di Maria, Falcao, and Marcos Rojo are just a few of the players who have come and gone without making any lasting impact, while the jury is still out on a number of United's current crop brought in for big fees. Even when the tide looked to be turning under Solskjaer, Woodward still went off-road to help bring in 36-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo, despite the team needing reinforcements elsewhere. Solskjaer agreed to sign Ronaldo and was keen to have him on board, but ultimately it is the Portuguese superstar who has outlasted both as the club make a fresh start with Ralph Rangnick part of the club's fabric. Woodward was always good at ignoring the noise, however, as evidenced by United's lack of interest in the available Antonio Conte, who was not even under consideration despite him looking to be the ideal candidate. Conte's recent history suggests his appointment 